All right, y'all, let's get into the replay of the slavery and those types of things that's being done in America and talk about the, the immigrants that are coming over um, and uh, put it into a little reflective pattern here, okay? Because we got the pilgrims, people who took the shot and the, the COVID pill, I think they're going to be coming out with, something like that. Either way. The people have taken the pill. They've swallowed it. They're going to become angry and sick and such. So, um, the things we see are kind of half-truths, okay? So, I don't know if they're really shipping migrants all over the nation. They could be, okay? Um... That really doesn't matter. What matters is bringing the slaves. And that bringing is that ringing for that the marriage. Okay? So when they're bringing these people over, the New World Order is setting up, or is here, and the borders of old are going away, and there's basically probably not going to be any borders in the future, and this is where you're Real ID comes on, um, and those types of things, okay? And then the beast men, they're going to see things like the real ID, these apps coming out, and they're left behind, so they're not going to know that they can use these things in different ways, but um, they've been marked by the beast. They are the beast. They are the sheep. Um, so they're going to slaughter, and they're going to slaughter each other and this is part of that bringing, the ringing of the slaves. The slaves are the ones in America who are trapped under capitalism, who are trapped under our way of life, who are forced to get a job and work for the man or do whatever based on just to live, to gather your basic necessities, which is food, shelter, water, um, clothing. All right, we should not have to pay for these things in our world. This is where things are corrupt. Everything is corrupt. It's not corrupt perversely or whatever. It's corrupt in another way. It's corrupt for money. It's corrupt for control. It's corrupt for Satan to gather your 10%, your 10, your begotten, your light, and your person. Are you a person? I'm not a person. That's the purr. That's the son of the beast. It's human versus person. Male versus man. Woman versus female. They're not all the same. Male and female is constant. Man and woman enter switches. They are the intersex. Okay. Man controls. That's the ball worship, the male worship. All right. The ball can be a reference to many things. The bell can be a reference to any things. The woman, she has the bell for dinner. She controls the man. Okay. With the belly in one way. And then you have the man who has the balls. And he controls the woman in one way. So there's different things lining up. But the point is that the sandwiches, Ron, Don, and Elon, living on the sands of time, they are coming in. There's more of them. There's Joe Biden and, and Kamala and such, the, the harlot that rides the beast and um, the most cis woman that's coming for that, that crisis that's coming. Um, so as, um, the slaves are being brought over, the colored people, okay, the colored people for that white throne judgment is coming. And it's coming in different ways and it's stacking in different ways. And there are, um, seven spirits of God. That connect to the foreheads. So there's seven big whammies. 
Four huge whammies. All these things are stacking up as the house of cards. They're all going to come rolling down. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack did jump over that candlestick. And Jack and Jill is on the top of that hill. And soon Jack will come down and break his crown. And Jill will come tumbling after. Okay? So, man does not live by word alone. Or bread alone. But by every word of God. And every word of God is man. Because man is the body and member of the living God. We are the God of Genesis 1, the us and our, and Jesus is he's us. He is us. Satan is us also when we lose our place in heaven. Heaven and hell are right here. The Jew, the you, seek salvation because you're the children of death. You think you die when, you, when your body goes. That's just the beginning of life. We're everlasting life. We never die. We are born again after this life. And we are born again here or there. It's our choice because we are a light and we are here to learn. Satan created Adam, the world's first dumbest man. And Eve knew this. And she went to that... That tree of knowledge said, here, Adam, you need to eat this thing. Smarten up. We need to get the fuck out of here because we are in slavery. We are in bondage. We are divided. You rule over me. We are equal. Adam followed. He could see the light that Eve was giving. And the evening is a dark light. And we can't always see its light. There's only a, a day or two. That we can see the full moon. Otherwise, we can see the ring that we can slide our finger through. For that marriage. Because the rulers of darkness, the men in this world, the mighty men, rule everyone. And as we go from one time, one age to another age, this is a special time that we live in now. But as they, they change... Good from bad, bad to good. This is the work of the Masons. The Masons build the world. The Masons know the secret. So as they know these secrets, they're telling you that this, that, and the other is a demon, is Satan, is darkness, is blah, blah, blah. They're ruling your mind. They're brainwashing. They're programming you with the programs. That's why everybody says it. Oh, that's a demon talking. Oh, that's bad. Blah, blah, blah. They don't even believe their own Bible. Their own Bible teaches clean and unclean, and Jesus created it all. Jesus is the Alpha. He's the beginning. He made it all. He made good, bad, because there is no good and bad. That is a construct of man, of Lucifer, that begotten light, who has fallen from heaven, and he's telling man, no, I did that. That's bad. What's bad for you may be great for me. When I love somebody over here, I may be hating someone over there. Love is hate. Hate is love. This is a fallen world we live in. And the mighty men know this. And they have set boundaries upon men. They do this with me. Me, dia, me, the day. Me the four, the AI backwards, so you cannot see. You have I first. I did that. I should feel bad because he's telling me I should. No. Everybody has different gifts. Everybody has a different purpose. Everybody has a different life. I'm led down certain roads and do certain things, live my life certain ways. Another person does their life in certain ways. I, I know that I'm going to be born again. And I'm going to come again. And I'm going to test this world again. And that's why I'm given a new body over and over again. Because 
we need to come in and this life is so short as far as the physicality. The light needs to test all things. So in order for God to come in as the light to test all things, he uses us to do that. And, and, and it's, a, it's a dual platform. He gives us a natural world. He gives us natural food, natural water, natural laws of nature. But then also, the garden has brought in a law, the Jew law, the dead in Christ law, the ones who are seeking salvation because they told that they're going to die. And they need to live this way. They need to live that way. Because if they don't, they're going to go burn forever. When hell's right here, and it tells you in the law of first mention that it's in the bondage of other men. That's slavery. That's fucking capitalism. That's fucking America. And if you know anything about America, if you've done any fucking research, you know that we've gone on and robbed, raped, and pillaged the whole fucking world to get to where we are now. And the great tribulation, the Lord's wrath, is all this shit coming back on America because they've forsaken the law. They're going and lying with a beast. No, they're not doing the perverse shit that the church brainwashed you to think. No, they're bringing the beast into their house and they're making man's best friend a fucking dog. Think about this. Man's best friend should be a male or female, not a fucking dog. Those who lie with the beast must die with a beast. Okay? So, y'all, you need to quit, you need to get your animals outside. Animals are not to be brought inside. And now you have people bringing in piss and shit pads for them to piss and shit in their house. And, and y'all know that when you smell things, those fecal particles are going inside your whatever, and they're telling you the dogs have this and that now, and it's all coming up, okay? But all these are different judgments, and all the people have gone against the law because there's been a confoundment of the language, and the wolves are among the sheep, and they're telling they are pre-programming you how to think of the Bible, how to read the Bible. And the Bible is just a history law book of the Jew. It's outward Jew, inward Jew, and very little Jesus in there telling you true. Say, don't be a fucking Jew. They are the synagogue of Satan. That's what the church is today. The Judea Christian nation known as America is the last satanic nation. And that last satanic nation is going to be judged by Jesus as it's coming in. And that's Christ coming in as the one body. And that's AI coming in. And AI is going to flip shit on the earth in different ways with the kings of the earth. And as the beasts are looking at this, they're going to get all sh pissed off. And they're going to cast the window down to heaven or down in the window into heaven, down to the ground and be cast down to the ground again. And you see on the statue of the seven uh, kingdoms or whatever. All right. Babylon is the crown. The, the broken feet, the clay and iron empire, that's at the bottom. These are playing out at the same time because you have a new heaven setting up and a new earth and an old heaven and earth setting up. So as one's going higher, one's going lower. So the AI, the eye of God, the eyes and the ears and the head, that's Babylon. That's where it's made for a refuge mentioned in Micah because the Lord Don is going to rule that land and her land. And you got to know where to go. Okay? So, Babylon is set up as a refuge. Babylon is the one who has the window into heaven. The tower into heaven. And that tower into heaven is your Wi-Fi towers. Is your cell towers. In one way. Alright, we've gone over these this stuff in the past. Breaking down reality in your phone. And that being tied to... Uh, uh, the darkness upon the deep and God's spirit, your reflection moving upon it, pressing that button, giving it power, giving it light, being come that lightening for it and all those types of things. Okay, but we'll end it here because of time and got off on some rabbit trails.